Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, Carl Hawks has shared an interesting satellite image showing the L-band long-range radar which is near completion. The radar is located atop a hill in Udaipur, Rajasthan. A similar image was shared on Twitter in January showing the L-band radar deployment in Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. What are these long range radars? What's their significance? How many such radars India has imported and indigenously developed? And how many such radar sites India is constructing? What kind of protection they are going to provide? We are going to discuss around all these questions in today's video. The long range radars are being developed as a part of India's Ballistic Missile Shield program phase 1. The missile shield is aimed to completely shield the western sky of India against any ballistic launch by Pakistan, rendering them completely useless. The main component of a ballistic missile shield is a very long range radar that can detect missiles from thousands of kilometers as ballistic missiles have range in multiple of thousand kilometers. Initially, India has imported such radars from Israel and then further upgraded it as per its requirement. But now it has developed its own long range tracking radar also called LRTR which we will be discussing in detail in today's video. But before we discuss on LRTR, let's also understand the basic of BMD or Ballistic Missile Defense Program. BMD is India's two-tier ballistic missile defense program developed by DRDO. The first layer can intercept a missile at an exo-atmospheric altitude of 50 to 180 kilometers. This layer consists of Prithvi Air Defense or PAD and Prithvi Defense Vehicle PDV interceptors designed for mid-course interception of a ballistic missile. The second layer can destroy an incoming missile in endo-atmospheric altitude of 15 to 40 km. It consists of a single-staged solid rocket propelled advanced air defense AAD interceptor missile. The AAD is designed to intercept missiles at terminal phase. The BMD system in its present configuration is designed to counter missiles with a range of up to 2000 km and speed between Mach 3 to Mach 8. The key to detection of incoming missiles at long range is long range or beyond horizon radars with an range axis of thousands of kilometers. These types of radar operate in L band. To begin with, India has imported two phased array green pine radars in 2002 and 2005 from Israel that is also being used in Israel's famous arrow missile defense system. Green Pine operates in search, detection, tracking and missile guidance modes simultaneously and capable of detecting targets at ranges up to 500 km and can track more than 30 targets at a speed over Mach 8.74. The Green Pine radars has a proven track record and has demonstrated in over 20 successful ballistic missile intercepts. We have also made a detailed video on these radars. Learning from Israeli technology, DIDU has also developed Swordfish Long Range Tracking Radar LRTR, capable of tracking missile launches at 600 to 800 km range. Although it is based on Israel's Green Pine, it differs from Israel's system as it employs Indian TR modules, signal processing, computers and power supplies. It is also more powerful than the base Green Prime system and was developed to meet India-specific BMD requirements. DIDU has not stopped till the development of Swordfish but has went ahead with Super Swordfish or very long-range tracking radar. The DIDU's Super Swordfish has been developed to track and intercept the MIRV capable missile. ISRO is already using an L-band AES radar called Multi-Object Tracking Radar or MOTR which is based on the same technology with fixed horizontal and vertical angle of rotation at 30 degree. It is capable of tracking 0.25 meter square object at 1000 km range and 0.09 meter square of object at 800 km range of low earth orbit or LEO. 
The super swordfish has range of approximately 1500 kilometers which is quite significant. It was raised in 2017 for Indian Ballistic Missile Defense Program and is now operational. Two units of super swordfish was accorded by Government of India in 2017. Now, as per the latest update, the Phase 1 of Indian Air Force Ballistic Missile Defense Network is now under construction. Indian Air Force is building four L-band long-range tracking radar LRTR sites near Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh, near Jaipur in Rajasthan, and yet to be identified site in Uttarakhand, all of which will be deployed along India's Western Air Defense Identification Zone. Construction activities are slated for completion by mid of 2023. The first phase of BMD system will be providing ballistic missile defense cover to NCR and Mumbai besides keeping track and providing situational awareness of all ballistic missile. As per the latest update, the L-band LRT radar deployment is complete at Bhopal site and almost near completion in Udaipur, Rajasthan. Now under phase 2, three additional LRTR sites will be built with construction already commencing earlier last year to cater for the north and northeastern portion of the Indian Air Force Air Defense Identification Zone. Last year, work has also commenced on construction of 12 L-band high-power radar sites, 8 facing LSE and 4 facing LOC. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.